How's it going, y'all? It's your boy, Raymond, back up in here with another reaction video. And today we finally have the beginning of the rollout for Rina Sawayama's new album. New album coming out, and I believe it's titled um, Hold This Girl, I think is what it is. Yeah, Hold the Hold This Girl, or Hold the Girl, something like that. And then we've got a new single called This Hell. From a lot of the promo, promo images, and as well as the stuff that she's been posting on Instagram, the art direction and the visuals for this album look really interesting, so I'm definitely excited to see how that's going to pair with the musical elements of it, obviously. I'm just ready. i uh, been a huge fan of Rena for a little bit, uh, for a little while now, ever since her debut came out. I was super obsessed with it for a little bit, um, was in my top 10 albums of that year. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see where she goes from here. Um, I heard that, you know, she was sort of diving a little bit more deeply into the sort of like Japanese uh, J-pop mixed with that, of course, you know, thrashy kind of punk sound that she's going for. And I heard she's really gonna be diving deeper into that sound, especially on this project. So I'm interested to see what this single is going to give us in terms of like a little taste of what we might get for this album. So yeah, let's go. Rina Sawayama, new single, This Hell. Uh, yeah, let's just take a look. Let's see what's going on. The open, I saw this like opening screenshot on her Instagram where it's like this this cowboy, or I guess like a cow, yeah, it's a cowgirl like riding a bull. So that should be interesting. Let's just take a look. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Oh, some nice, some nice echoed out guitars. This had like an early 2000s feel almost. It's kind of weird. Maybe like like early 2010s pop. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> Wait. That sound effect in the background sounds like it's from Thriller or from Billie Jean or something. Ooh. Damn. That sound effect in the background. Wow, she has a really dominant voice on this track. Oh. Okay. Wow, that was actually really interesting. Um, this definitely kind of builds off of the sound that she was going for on Sawayama. This definitely feels, at least hearing this for like the first time, probably on headphones it might be a little different. You know, compared to some of the stuff off of Sawayama, you know, you essentially have like all of these tracks that flow together really well, The but the production is what really, it makes it feel like such a grandiose event, essentially for a lot of the tracks. Um, but this feels just like a straight up like, like stadium jammer, you know, it's like you know, something something that everybody's gonna be jumping around to, like clapping their fists to and everything, you know. The guitar riffs here are really nice as well. Rena definitely has a very dominant uh, vocal performance on this track as well, especially towards the end when she starts hitting those peaks. The guitar solo was also a pretty decent touch. I also like how um, after each chorus, it sort of does that like drop down where everything just kind of just 
dives down and the beat almost cuts out for a second and then it goes straight into the uh, the verses. I really like that part as well. Overall, a pretty solid track, I would say. I think I just wanted something, to, I, I, I guess for like the next few singles, I kind of want something a little bit more, you know, a little bit more like punchy, but maybe this one will grow on me a little bit. Um, but I am interested in the direction that she's definitely going to be, that she's definitely heading in with this. So yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of how I'm feeling about it. I don't think I'm really gonna rate this one either. I think I'm kind of, you know, I'm just gonna do like, like album ratings at this point. I don't really think I'm gonna be doing like single ratings or anything. But I would say this one is pretty decent. Hopefully the next ones are even better. Uh, but yeah, I'm interested to see where Rena's gonna be doing. She's a great, fantastic artist and she has great uh, vocal chops. And she's super creative with a lot of the pop music that she's making. So yeah, this could be a telltale sign for the future and for her album. So uh, yeah, that was Rina Sawayama, This Hell. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Those are my thoughts. Feel free to drop anything in the comments that you guys might have some insight on, maybe some producers that she's been working with that are new or some new stuff that she's gonna be doing on this album that I may not know about. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe as well to keep up on some more videos that are gonna be coming up because today, of course, is Thursday, new Music Friday, obviously coming up tomorrow. Should be some new stuff dropping tomorrow as well that I'll be reviewing over the weekend, hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.